Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we have something to celebrate because we just hit subscriber number 200. So that's fantastic news. And to celebrate, I'm going to open this booster pack of alliances. By what name are you known? There are some who call me Tim. So there we go. We're going to open it up and we're looking for that force of will still. But there are more cards in this set that are worth a pick. So I'm going to open it up. There we go. And the first three cards of the pack are the uncommons. So I'm going to put them here. And this is the rare. So I'm going to put it here. I'm going to turn the pack to have a look at the first card. So these are the Ancients, a Summon Tree Folk. Five mana, and I can pump it. It's a 2-7, and for a green mana, it gets plus one, minus two, until end of turn. And Casting of Bones, an Enchant Creature. And it reads, if Enchanted Creature is put in the graveyard, draw three cards. Choose and discard one of those cards. Pretty cool card drawing mechanic for black. And Soldavi Sentry, it's a 1-1 one, one artifact creature for one, and it says one regenerate and target opponent may draw a card. This is one of those cards that maybe you can build something with it, using Underworld Dreams, for instance, with this one, Soldavi Sentry. And then we have the fish Fishkarit Armor, or Viscarit armor, maybe. Um, Inshan creature gets plus one, plus one. And then it says, for two mana, return the armor to its owner's hand for one blue and one colorless. And we have Veteran's Voice. Uh, play on a creature you control, and it says pay zero, tap enchanted creature to give any other creature plus two, plus one until end of turn for one red. Some nice art going on there. <laughs> you see how they, no, they're not connected. Veteran's voice, so this must be the veteran there. Interesting, and how good would this card be if it didn't have that play only on a creature you control? Then it would be kind of insane. Oh, and this one, the Soul Davy Sage. I like this card, and I think I pulled this one last time. And it says, uh, it's a creature, it's a 1-1 one, one for a blue and a colorless. And it says, tap, sacrifice two lands to draw three cards, choose and discard one of those cards. Very nice card. Reminds me a little bit of the Sage of Latinam from Antiquities, one of my favorite cards. And then we have Errand of Duty. Let's make some space here, Errand of Duty. Two mana, a white and a colorless, and it's an instant, and it says, put a knight token into play, treat this token as a 1-1 one, one white creature with banding. Now, it took me a while to realize that that banding attribute is quite powerful, because when you're playing on a defense, and you have one banding creature, you can put all your defensive creatures in, in a band together, and that means that you get to decide the damage that's being assigned by the attacking creature. So this card is much better than you might think um, when you look at it in first glance. And then there is Martyrdom, and it's two white and a colorless, and it says, until end of turn, you may redirect uh, to target creature, you control any amount of damage. Could be useful when you got hit by a huge fireball and you just sack one of your creatures. But not, not a very interesting card. Okay, so let's have a look at our uncommons here. So I'm gonna flip it. And we have the Storm Elemental. And this creature is a 3-4 flying with a lot of text. And let's look at the first ability. It says, remove the top card of your uh, library from the game to tap target creature with flying. And for another blue one, remove the top card of your library from the game. If that card is a snow-covered land, Storm Elemental gets plus one, plus one. Until end of turn, so it's not a counter. And it's six mana, so wow. Okay, that's that's a bit harsh. And then we have a red card coming up. 
and it's Gorilla Shaman. Shoot, this one's quite nice for one red, and when you pay double X, so two and one, destroy target, none. Creature artifact with casting cost equal to X. So this can actually destroy artifacts for you. An artifact killer on a stick. And our last uncommon, it's white. And it's from Kaya Foglio, so that's probably means it's great art. It's not a creature. And it's an inheritance. Oh, this is a nice card. For three mana, it's an enchantment for one white. And it reads three, draw a card, use this ability only when a creature is put into the graveyard from play, and only once for each creature into your graveyard. Okay, so far we don't have a lot of value yet. So that means that our rare is our one and only chance. So this is our rare card. Will it be a Lake of the Dead? Bam! And it's a Winter's Night. Oh, that's interesting. It's an enchant world. Whenever a snow-covered land is tapped for mana, it produces one additional mana of the same type. And it does not untap during its controller's next untap phase. No idea if I'm ever going to use this. It is nice looking though, and it has nice art. Enchant World, Winter's Night. Thank you for watching this episode of Timmy Talks. If you'd like to see more openings, um, just click on the link that's appearing right now. And you can also check out other uh, playlists on my channel to see some old school magic. Thank you for watching and see you next time.